ahead, folks. Look, it's down the whole way. It's the whole way. Oh my God! Look at it. It's a hola. Hola. More and more men every single day. All the way around the oil pass building. Every single day. Look at that. That's going right down to the end of the road on both streets. Huh. So this is not just happening in the United States, but all over the Western world in a coordinated way, almost as if it's some kind of conspiracy. No, can't be because the corporate media didn't tell us it is. Yeah, right. Welcome back. Beautiful and amazing human beings. My name is Luke Radowski here of WeAreChange.org. And there's a lot of absolutely wild and crazy, bewildering news that luckily you are able to hear because there's some major outages happening right now that are really perplexing, really confusing. Lots of disinformation, lots of propaganda as we're going to be doing our best to try to explain it to you here with all the latest news breaking right now, as of course, lots of developments coming in, lots of things surrounding the 2024 presidential elections, lots of things surrounding foreign policy, all of that, plus a lot more will be discussed here on this independent media broadcast. If you like the shirt that I'm wearing right now, you can get it on the best politicalshirts.com and the clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast comes all the way from Ireland highlighting the migrant encampments there that of course are just taking over the streets as Ireland also is implementing the UN agenda of a population replacement that of course is absolutely wrecking havoc on the local populations there. This as other countries like Russia and China are actually implementing the opposite policies as some of the Western powers are and some would argue they care about their citizenry and country a lot more than of course the Western leaders that routinely uh, sell themselves out and do business with them. I'm looking at you here, old yeller. This as CNN is reporting that Putin is looming over, quote, third successive U.S. election. This as the former KGB member also was seen just moments ago in what many people are seeing a taunt against the West by taking flight in a Russian strategic nuclear bomber. This as the Russians have been threatening all-out nuclear war with the West, specifically surrounding the sovereignty of their territory and their newly acquired territory in Ukraine. This as domestically here inside of the United States, the U.S. president makes less and less sense the more he speaks. This as the president's ability to speak and walk are not the only thing being questioned today as we got a new document highlighting how Joe Biden's dog has literally bit 24 Secret Service agents, highlighting how Joe Biden is an absolutely horrible dog dad. And you can tell a lot about someone, especially when you look at their pooches and how they behave and how they act, which usually is a reflection of their owners. I'm looking at you, Becky, especially after your dog took a crap on the couch. You could do better, and so could Joe Biden, who some people still want to be the president of the United States for an additional four more years as the Republicans aren't getting along with themselves. That's not a surprise there as even Florida Governor Ron DeSantis just ruled out being the vice president for Donald Trump going on and saying that the former president of the United States has quote too much baggage. This as Donald Trump and Joe Biden do share one key issue and that is their political prosecution of Julian Assange, a member of the media, a man who released information to the general public for their own personal well-being and is being heavily politically prosecuted for it as we are entering the last few days of his extradition hearings in the United Kingdom that will determine his faith and if he will be shipped over to the United States to face 175 years in jail. This as the Daily Mail is even reporting that the Americans want revenge for exposing their dirty secrets. This as, of course, relying on central controllers and powerful individuals to tell you the truth is something that, of course, you can't rely on. And as technology, information, and power becomes more and more centralized with institutions like Google, who, of course, work with the intel agencies and the U.S. Pentagon extensively, especially when it comes to censoring anything they don't like or criticizes them, highlighting important issues, especially when it comes to the latest Google artificial intelligence that was called the Gemini that literally was just stopped. It was stopped because it wouldn't generate any images of white people and it was inherently programmed to discriminate against them. 
This says now Google is publicly apologizing for their software that refused to show white people or that they even existed throughout historical context. Yeah, the images from um, the 1930s and 40s of, of Germany were, were, were quite hilarious, but we're also encroaching on territory of things that we can't discuss here on YouTube. And this is why we're going to continue the conversation and talk more about relationships all on LukeUnfiltered.com with a special broadcast available for members right after this broadcast. Trust me, you're going to want to uh, see and hear this one as, of course, there's a lot of different things that we can't talk about here that we will be discussing for a special report on LukeUnfiltered.com as, of course, we are also going to be doing an in-real-life meetup this March 2nd here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where, of course, we will be breaking bread with members, getting to know each other, talking to each other, and more importantly, Currently, building networks of individuals who, of course, could be there for each other during a time of crisis. As, of course, right now we're, we're dealing with some crazy news, especially when it comes to our infrastructure allegedly being under attack. Hey, there's a reason I, I have preparewithwearechange.com available for everyone and have been, of course, telling people about it for a very long time, including, of course, uh, before even... 2022 we've been we've been working with uh, my patriot supply for a while check them out by going to prepare with we are change.com because you know the world's unpredictable it's crazy and we definitely do see that from uh, the latest information coming in today as of course members of lukeunfiltered.com we not only strive to build communities and networks but also we have a forum we have master classes that will literally teach you how to survive any and all kind of scenarios that could be coming your way we have master classes on of course getting second passports we have ways of teaching you to do what we do and uh, truly, the uh, the survival apocalypse training class, one of the funnest things that I embarked in, we have 50 plus videos, instructional videos, teaching you everything from land navigation, building a fire, starting your own shelter, living in the woods, you name it. You could learn it right now just by becoming a member of LukeUnfiltered.com. Just make sure you do the $15 tier that comes with a lot of really incredible offers of value. If you want to be a part of the meetup and you just want to do that you could just sign up for eight dollars a month we also have a tier that involves 99 dollars a month and involves direct communication with me and you and of course take advantage of all of that sign up right now to lukeunfiltered.com as of course the story that we're hearing about right now is uh, a little bit worrisome to some individuals as many corporate media organizations are reporting that there is major cell phone outages in the united states that throughout the making of this video have been kind of growing and expanding as a lot of people in Houston, Chicago, Dallas, Los Angeles, and Atlanta are describing major issues, especially when it comes to their cell phone and internet service. As a lot of people are reporting that this is some of the biggest communication outages that they have seen in a very long time, not just with AT&T, but with Cricket, Verizon, Boost, T-Mobile, US Cellular, even Google, Xfinity, Apple support, you name it. And uh, these outages only keep uh, increasing from here. Now, what is really going on here? As of course, now there's a lot of conspiracy. There's a lot of speculation as we in the making of this video don't know what's going on here. But automatically hearing about the story, the first thing comes to mind is a story from last year where members of the U.S. government were literally issued satellite phones, all a part of, quote, new security measures. Now, what were they kind of preparing for? As, of course, last year when this story broke, I was I, I reported on it and I was like, hey, what's going on here? Why did why did they need satellite phones? And allegedly this was all for security efforts related to J6. This says a lot of people say that there has been a lot of predictive programming with the grid and communication services being disrupted with Netflix films like Leave the World Behind that were partly produced by the Obamas. Other people are automatically talking about Cyber Polygon, a cyber attack simulation that happened with the World Economic Forum, the Russian government, and the American government that, of course, simulated larger attacks on infrastructure that, of course, was crippled through cyber war. 
Now, is this some kind of iteration? Is this some kind of test of any of those things? Well, as of right now, we don't know. But again, in the making of this video, we also learned about pharmacies that are also reporting outages in the wake of what some people are calling a cyber attack. This as just moments ago, the FBI and other federal agencies, along with the Department of Homeland Security, said that they're investigating what's happening right now with AT&T as other people are taking to the internet to talk about communist Chinese hackers. And uh, again, is that the case here? We, we, we don't know. We, we don't know what's really going on here. As of course, the situation is so bad that even some police departments are not able to receive calls from the general public. And with emergency services not being available to some American people, this already could have a very significant impact that I think is worth talking about as this story is still developing. And fake news being spread about this isn't helping anyone, especially when it comes to some authority figures that are trying to say that this was some kind of planned outage of towers, which automatically will spark more fears, more speculation, more mistrust of the official authorities here, who, let's just be honest here, don't have the best record of being honest with the general public. Now, some people are saying that this could be related to potentially a solar flare or the sun. Some people are saying this is not a conspiracy, that this could also be a SIM database issue. And uh, that could be a, a rational kind of explanation to what's happening here. As, of course, I went online and I asked people, what do you think is going on here? And most people are saying, well, systems go down sometimes. Usually someone messed up. Usually that's what happens. And is that what is happening right now at this very moment? Probably, as other people are deciding to be facetious and say that this is a solar flare sent from Russia. Other individuals are saying, clearly, the sun really hates AT&T. And uh, whatever it is, I hope it gets fixed quickly, especially when it comes to, you know, the, the emergency services that people don't have access to right now that could uh, impact many people's lives in a very dramatic way. So, yes, this is a serious issue. It should be taken seriously, but also it should be taken with a, a moment of, of pondering and understanding from you as an individual to assess and to think about your situation and if you're ready for whatever might potentially come your way. And preparedness is, I think, crucial. We've learned that ever since 2020, having an extra amount of supplies for a few weeks, a, a few months, especially when it comes to things that you rely on a lot, is something that, of course, I've been telling people to do for a very long time on LukeUnfiltered.com. As, of course, having a little bit of extra stuff just in case, especially when it comes to batteries, especially when it comes to flashlights, especially when it comes to radios, especially when it comes to supplies that you are dependent on, is something that, uh, again, you should be assessing. If you, get, if you get some time, I would definitely walk around the house and, and just look at things that you might need that sometimes potentially you might not get because I, I think it's fair to say we're, we're living in very crazy times. Those times are going to get crazier. We are very heavily reliant on technology that any moment at any time could go down and impact our lives dramatically. Forbes even had an article that was titled, Is There a Tech Extinction Event Coming? As they detailed some of the larger financial concerns when it comes to online internet companies that, of course, could quickly vanish. As, of course, there's a lot of other speculation and financial concerns and issues, not just surrounding the tech industry, uh, but also just the global economy as the United States is $34 trillion in debt, a situation that is not very stable or good to be in. You look at the prospects of foreign wars, you look at the prospects of unconventional warfare, especially now being fought through technological ways and means, you look at how war was fought previously just a few years ago, as of course, attacks on infrastructure, something that routinely does happen. And if you could destroy someone's infrastructure, destroy someone's uh, trade, communications, without even needing to, to fire a single bullet, especially if you're involved in a full-out potential conflict with them, especially with Russia threatening nuclear war, you kind of got to ask yourself, why wouldn't some of these countries take some of these egregious measures? As, of course, politicians have showed themselves to be absolutely ruthless and sociopathic in many ways. And that's why, hell, anything and everything is possible and I, I really do think this election cycle is very tumultuous and turbulent and going to be a lot more tumultuous and turbulent coming closer to its finish if we even freaking get there. What do you think is really going on with this outage? 
let me know down in the comment section below if you could still communicate with us. And while we could still communicate with each other, I strongly recommend get to know your neighbor. Start some communities. We're doing that March 2nd here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Lots of crazy stuff out there. It's only going to get crazier, but it doesn't mean you have to go crazy. Being prepared is a way of not doing that. I hope you take that seriously. I got a lot more to say. I'm saying it on lukeandfilter.com. See you there right now. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys actively watching and sharing this video with your friends and family members. And because you guys do that, that's why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.